Hi, my name is Matt. I'm with ICM Controls. Today we're at the iTech training facility in Rochester, New York. We're going to be talking about the ICM 325A head pressure control for low ambient conditions. So today we're going to talk about some of the applications for the ICM 325A, where you would use it, how to install it in your low ambient conditions. Cold weather conditions could cause costly damage to your HVAC systems. The ICM 325A could help prevent evaporator freeze-ups, hydraulic lockups, compressor burnout, liquid sludging, fan cycling, and more. Some common applications where you might need air conditioning in the winter would be a doctor's or dentist's office, refrigeration systems, server rooms, or spaces for large gatherings. And this is just to name a few. The ICM 325 is an exciting new product from ICM Controls. What they've done is they've consolidated all of their previous single phase controls and features into one new universal unit. This is a new multi-voltage control from 120 volts to 600 volts. The temperature and pressure parameters are all fully programmable through the new ICM OmniGap. The most exciting feature of this product is now fully programmable with your mobile phone. So later in the video, we'll go through how to fully program the ICM 325A with the ICM Omni app. Some of the key features for the ICM 325 are it has two inputs for temperature sensors or a pressure sensor. There's a heat pump bypass for full operation and heating mode. It eliminates overshoots common to the on-off pressure switch controls. A jumper selectable reversing valve operation, jumper selectable control voltage enabling, near field communication or NFC using the ICM Omni app. So let's go ahead and get this wired. As always, disconnect your power before servicing any equipment. So once we find a place for our control uh, to safely mount it so you can get in here and work, um, you can refer to the instruction manual to whatever application you need it for. In this case, we're gonna install it in an, uh, in an air conditioning application or refrigeration. So when you open the box, you'll find your ICM 325A control, which we've already mounted here. Uh, it comes with self-tapping screws, so you can either pre-drill it or use the screws to, tap us to, to mount the unit. It also comes with the temperature probe thermistor, zip tie to attach it to your coil, a little bit of adhesive insulation tape, and it comes with two little jumpers. They're in the bag. We're going to leave them in there because they're tiny. I don't want to lose them. And those are for if you're going to use this in a heat pump mode, you can select uh, between the reversing valve and the other jumper is if you need control voltage. Just want to make sure you have everything ready before you get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the L2 wire off. We're going to go take this to motor two. We already went ahead and made a couple of jumpers here. So we're going to take a wire back from on your contactor. This is going to go back to line two. And your motor one, line one, just gets wired up to your common on your capacitor or your common on your L1 on your contactor. So now they got this control wired with the high voltage. Uh, we need to go ahead and attach the, the sensor probe. And to do that, you need to be on the coil on one of the bends, we'll take this apart and show you, um, about two thirds of the way up. So we already went ahead and removed some of the screws. So once we get in, you know, do this uh, nice and safe, obviously. But we're gonna need to expose the U-bends on the coil. So since we need this probe to be connected to this control, we need to find a hole. Either you need to drill one, but you can usually run it through. It's pretty long, about six feet long. We're gonna run it through the hole that all the other wires run through. Pull it through. Okay, so then we're gonna take our zip tie and you just divide the coil in thirds and kind of go up about two thirds. So just attach it right here. Now again, this, the, the unit comes with the thermistor for your uh, temperature probe, but you can buy the, the pressure sensors if you want to do it with uh, pressure transducer. 
Okay, so now we got our temperature thermistor mounted. We go back and button up the, the condenser. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect our thermistor wires to the correct terminals on the control. Since we only have one temperature probe, one terminal goes on the plus five volts, the other one goes on T1, P1. Again, this unit is capable of using two temperature probes or two pressure sensors. So as you can see, it's a pretty relatively easy installation on an AC condenser. This control is going to protect this condenser uh, in a way that as the temperature outside drops, it's going to vary the speed of the condenser fan motor to, to keep the system at the, a, a constant temperature or pressure. So now let's take a look at the Omni app from ICM Controls to see how we program this for your specific application. So out of the box, the ICM 325A is set up ready to install with the included temperature sensor. However, if you wish to customize any of the parameters for this control, you'll want to open the ICM Omni app. If you have not yet installed the app on your phone, you can simply do it by one of two ways. Hold the phone over the device and it will take you directly to the download page or go to the App Store or Google Play to download the app. When you first open the app, you'll be asked to either program or read a device. In the next screen, you'll be asked which of the ICM devices you would like to program. In this case, we'll be selecting head pressure control. On the next screen, you'll have the choice of either creating a new program or using a saved program. In this case, we're gonna create a new program for this control. On this next screen, we have our programmable settings. So the first parameter is probe type. You're gonna select either temperature or pressure. The second parameter is set point. Now, depending on which probe type you selected in the first parameter, it will show in either PSI or temperature. The set point determines the temperature or pressure in which the fan will operate at full speed. The third parameter is hard start duration. You can set this from 0.1 to five seconds. This setting determines how long the condenser fan motor will run at full speed on startup. Set a longer time for sleeve bearing motors, set a shorter time for ball bearing motors. The last parameter is minimum output voltage. This is where you would choose the percentage of variable speed range desired between 17% and 48%. Now that we have all our parameters set, let's go ahead and program this device. So programming the ICM 325A is as easy as holding your phone over the device. Programming is successful when you see the check mark show up on your screen and your phone will vibrate. If for some reason programming was unsuccessful, you'll see an exclamation point pop up and just try it again. At the bottom of the program screen, you'll see a link that takes you to ICM controls for installation guide and wiring. We also have the option here to save this program to use on similar devices for future applications. If you already have an ICM 325A installed or you would like to double check the programming already on the existing device, go to the ICM Omni app, select read device, hold it over the ICM 325A and it will tell you what the parameters are. As always, thank you for watching the video. For more information or any technical support on this or any of our other products, please visit icmcontrols.com.